I have to talk about Megan Rapino once again and call her out for what she is. And this is helping her. She doesn't mind this at all. She just wants to be talked about. She understands how outrage gets her what she wants. For the ones I don't know, her her um, her book release, One Life or whatever it was, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, came out yesterday on the 10th. So she knew that, you know, with COVID and the presidential election, she had no voice and it wasn't get any anything paying attention to her. So she's like, hmm, all right, the election's almost over. It's not over yet, by the way. It's almost over. Um, but for many of you, you think it's over, so we'll, we'll just assume it's over. Uh, we're already talking about Biden as a president, even though uh, not legitimately, but it is what it is, and I don't care. Um, we'll let the courts go through things and get things taken care of. But Biden and Trump were stealing the limelight of Megan, and Megan was getting antsy. She's like, what do I need to do to get people to pay attention to me? I know I'll throw outrage on an organization that's trying to do the right thing to create out fake outrage, even though I'm not upset, but I want to be upset so I can get people buying my book, and that's exactly what she did. So from thehill.com, Changing America, Megan Rapino calls Manchester United disgraceful. They're horrible. They're disgusting. In their late support of women's soccer, it's not, it's not good enough that they're supporting it. It was too late. It was, it's just, it's not good enough. It's just too late. So this was the interview. Um, I covered this in my last podcast too. The BBC, Megan Rapino discussed the gender, uh, gender parity in soccer or football as they call it. Rapino had some special, uh, special, especially choice words for the English football club, Manchester United. It's a big club. If I say something, it's a big deal. Anyways, as the captain of the World Cup winning national team, Megan Rapino doesn't have much patience for uh, participation awards. It's 2020. How long has the Premier League been around? And we've only just seen a club like Manchester United put effort and pounds towards a women's team. Frankly, it's disgraceful, she told BBC in a recent interview. I covered this already. But it's now it's gaining attraction. And it's all over the place because that's just how they roll. And why? It's because of this. Buy books, not to miss, Megan Rapinoe's One Life. One Life by Megan Rapino from the Penguin Press uh, nonfiction on sale November 10th. Outrage. Let's create outrage on the uh, 8th and 9th and let it kind of roll so we can talk about my one life. That's what she's doing because her net worth, and this is from... Um, Storytell.com, Megan Rapinoe's net worth 2020 salary endorsements facts. What are Megan Rapinoe's net worth and salary in 2020? Read on to find out how much she's worth and other interesting facts about her. Let's do this. So I'll scroll down right to her net worth. Uh, they got her career highlights. We know she's an amazing athlete. She did really well in the World Cup, and she is worth $3 million, and it's never going to be good enough. In 2020, Megan Rapinoe's net worth is valued at $3 million that we're aware of, and she married well, you know, a soon-to-be Hall of Fame basketball player. So be, between the two salaries, who, who knows what their worth is? And I hope they tax the living daylights out of her. Tax! I hope they take more than half. I hope they take a ton more. Give it away! But she does donate 1% of her salary towards charities. That's just very... Nice of her. Uh, she might want to donate more to avoid more tax deductions, but I think she just likes giving her money. Just take it and hope it works out. It never works out with the government, but that's another subject. So Megan Rapino, for all you uh, media whores out there that just enjoy being controlled by the media to believe whatever they're telling you, to, you know, it's all about left. It's left this, left that, and you make money off it. I need to be part of this. You make money for being outrageous towards the uh, woke nation. You make money for doing so. That's why Landon Donovan acts the way he does, because he wants to be recognized. He wants to be part of the party because the party is the left. There's no, no buts about it. We get it. I got it. That's what they are. The outrage is there, and it's a safer place to be because you don't get fired for it. You, you don't. You, you get you get fired for like podcasts like this, um, calling them out for what they're doing. 
they're manipulating the media while well, the media is manipulating them as well, everyone else, to get what they need, which for Megan, $3 million is not enough. She needs more because she's getting taxed like crazy because she likes being taxed. She needs to get more money through her book deals, and if she doesn't do well in her book deals, she can't, you know, get more money for the next book deal, which won't appear. And the only way she can keep getting book deals is she has to be out there. So she's being forced to be put in a situation of what? Be outrageous. Well, she's not going to be playing anymore. She's done with that. She's 35. So she has to be outrageous. So that's what it is. Megan Rapino, uh, unbelievable soccer player. Now she's moved on to the next phase of her life, which is be outrageous. She's, it's not her. I don't think that's her. I think she's a very nice human being, and she's stuck in the uh, situation of I need to keep trying to find uh, attention so I can feel good about myself, and I need money. And the only way she's going to get money is she needs to do uh, speaking engagements and, and just be outrageous, mad. She has to be mad. And this is what this is what needs to be called out. We need to stop this madness. It's not good to always be angry and outrageous. It, it, if anyone does something good, it's not good enough because we know what you did in the past. Kind of like Megan Rapinoe's brother, who she's forgiving. She is understanding, which she should be, even though he has a swastika on his neck, and she's trying to understand why. And I like that. Fine. Not that her brother is a racist, but I think you should always seek for understanding versus let's just crucify. You know, maybe he's not racist anymore. You know, maybe he reformed himself, which I don't know the details of that. But say he is. Is it Megan's? We okay? He's he's changed. She's cool with that. But Manchester United, not good enough. It's too late. What about Major League Soccer? Is that her next thing? I mean, Major League Soccer, they've only been around, what, 20 years? Uh, they're not doing anything about the women's game. They actually don't even fund the, the women's academies or anything. It's all on the NWSL, which doesn't have enough funding to function. So I don't know. I just think it's strange, and the timing is brilliant. So will I be buying Megan Rapinoe's book? No. No, I will not because I don't want to read it. And I don't want to to help her keep doing what she's doing. So if you want to keep her from being self-destructive, because that's what she's being, uh, don't buy her book. And I'm out. Peace.